What's up everyone? Welcome to What Wendy Wears. My name is Wendy. Today I am getting mentally prepared for today. Today is all about Amazon shapewear. I got everything from mild compression up to the heaviest compression that they have just to see how those items look underneath a dress. I do wear shapewear. I don't wear it all the time, but there are times where I want to be smoothed out and sometimes I want to be snatched. So when it comes to that, I have different levels of, um, of shapewear. So when it comes to that, we're gonna see what works best. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you each one of the shapewear items. I'm gonna show you what I look like without the shapewear um, in my dress. And then I'm gonna put the shapewear on just to see if you could see the difference. And I'll do a side by side to see what you think of each one of those items. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. <music> without any shapewear, just the dress and my regular undergarments that I would normally wear. So here's the front, side, back, and side, and front again. All right, so the first item is the Shaper Mint Impetua. Um, short and um, this one does look like it has pretty good compression on there uh, however uh, it usually with this type of material that it comes with it's not as uh, compressive as other items but what I do like about this shaper short is that it does have the uh, rubber around the top of the short so that way it holds it in place and it doesn't roll down one thing I do wish it did have is that it also had the little rubber around the thigh area because this one also kind of tends to roll at times depending on the short. Um, this one here does not have a, um, an opening in the crotch area to go to the restroom so you would have to pull it down every time you need to go to the bathroom. Um, and, but overall, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks like it does have some stretch um, so let's go ahead and try this one on. So this would be the first item. All right, so item number one, front, side, back, side, and front. You know, I could already tell you that I'm not going to like this shapewear because I could feel it kind of rolling down in the back. Um, even with the silicone base around it, I, it's still kind of rolling down. I kind of wish that it had a clip that would go attached to my bra. So then that way it doesn't roll down at the back. I don't think I'm having any issue. I don't feel anything in the front, but it's in the back where I feel like it's rolling down. So if it had like a little uh, clip to attach to my bra, uh, I, that problem would go away. So item number one, it will be linked in the description box below. So item number two is a full uh, body suit uh, or short. Um, this one here as well does not have the silicone around the thigh. It does have an opening in the crotch so you could go to the restroom so that way you don't have to take it off. Um, as I mentioned, this is a full body suit. The most of the compression based on what it looks like is that it's here in the central area. So the midsection area, which is great. Um, it does have coverage for the bust, but it's, it stretches a lot more in the bust area. So I guess it doesn't really matter what size uh, chest you have because uh, there's a lot of stretch in that area. Um, and it does have straps and the straps are adjustable, but you cannot remove the straps. So it looks pretty good. Um, let me see the, um, the back area near the butt has a little bit more extra room. The, it's a little thinner material near the butt. So that way it could stretch depending on the size of your cheeks. So um, let's go ahead and try this one on. This one is a little bit of a different material, which it's really smooth and nice, which seems like it's really seamless. So it'll fit great underneath your clothes. I got this one in a 2X or XXL. So we'll try this one on. So this one, I got a double XL in this item and um, it did take a little bit of work to get in. 
Uh, the first one didn't really, um, you know, I didn't have any issues with the struggle to get on. This one I had a little bit of issue uh, because most of the compression is here in the front area. Uh, but it actually fits really well. Um, this, the nice thing about this one is that it's really smooth and really thin. So, you know, it goes very seamlessly underneath your clothes, I would imagine. So we're, we'll try it on with the dress. But as you can see, it's a pretty good length. It goes about mid thigh. Uh, like I mentioned, it does have an opening in the crotch area. Um, the back is pretty see-through. Like I said, I do have um, underwear on, so then that way you can't really see much. But um, you can see that it does have some shapewear like here to kind of uh, frame your under butt. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's actually a pretty good fit. Uh, so let's try it on with the dress. So this one I think looks a little better in this dress with the type of compression that is um, in the shapewear. So here's the front side, back side and front again. Um, honestly, I do like this shapewear. Um, I like the fact that it does go all the way to the top here. So if you did have something that was a little low cut and you had the shapewear underneath, it kind of works like a little cami underneath, which is great. Uh, but I do like the fit on this and it is super comfortable. And honestly, when it comes to shorts on shapewear, the great thing about it is that, you know, you don't have to worry about the chub rub in between your thighs because it's super comfortable. Uh, this one does have, like I mentioned, a hole so you could go to the restroom. Ultimately, these types of shapewear are made for you to wear your underwear above it. However, you know what? Honestly, that would just make panty lines. So you don't have to wear any if you have the shapewear on. So another little tip. So item number three, this one here is also similar to a bodysuit. The only thing is does not have coverage in the breast area. This one has the most support. Um, this is more like a faja, meaning that it's a tighter compression. This one does have a zipper in the front so you could get into it. Um, and it also has um, clips here so you can um, fix it in order or close it while you are prior to you zipping up the bodysuit. The it does have straps on it. Straps are removable or interchangeable if needed. Um, and it looks like it has pretty good back coverage. Um, it does, it does have some silicone. Great. Down here, um, near the leg openings, which is great. Like I said, that prevents it from rolling down or rolling up, excuse me. And it also has a pretty big crotch hole. So if you need to go to the restroom, you have that option there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> If I don't get a like or a subscribe out of this, this is going to be bad because this shapewear is very difficult to get on. As I mentioned, I do have undergarments on. This one here does have little clips here to um, clip together before you zip the shapewear up. And then from there, it is pretty flat. Um, this is one that will snatch you in. Um, it does have a pretty large hole down at the bottom. So this one, you probably would want to wear some undergarments on top uh, because, you know, it's like you don't want to take this off every time you go to the restroom, believe me, because it was a pretty good workout just trying to get it on. Um, so as you can see, pretty good um, uh, compression on here, uh, side, back um, it has the items where it's a little stretchier here so then your butt can kind of pop out um, and as you can see it pops out on the side so it's going to give you a really good shape when you are wearing that dress so let's go ahead and put the dress on and see how it looks with it on so this one has the most compression out of the three um, and honestly I do love the way it fits with this dress because it snatches you in. It gives you a defined waist. And I'll tell you this, though. Um, if you are not used to this type of compression, it may be a little uncomfortable. The only place where I think it is a little uncomfortable for me is around my thighs. I do have larger thighs. So because of that, 
um, I could kind of feel the um, the band the way it fits um, and I, I don't like that especially with this type of shapewear um, I do wish it was just a little bit longer so then that way I wouldn't have that issue but I do love what it does to my body it smooths me out and it snatches me in the way that shapewear with high compression is supposed to do. So let's take a look at uh, the front side, back side and front. All right. So um, we're going to try one more shapewear, which is a little different than the other ones. And we'll see how that works out. So the last piece that I purchased was a little different. It is made of nylon and it does have some stretch to it. Um, this is not a short bottom. Um, so the reason why I purchased this is because I would actually wear this if I was wearing pants. But if I'm wearing a dress, I normally wouldn't wear this because a lot of the times it may cut into your hips and then you could see that little dip and it's not as smooth. Um, but it will normally suck you in, but we'll try it out. It has the snap closure in the bottom here. So that way, if you need to go to the restroom, you have that capability. Um, and also it has like a, a section that crosses in the front near the uh, tummy area to kind of hold you in. Uh, this one here, the straps cannot be um, changed or taken off as you can see. Uh, but it looks like it has pretty full coverage in the back, but it does not cover your breasts. So you will need to have a bra with this item. Um, but we'll try it out. It looks like it has some stretch. It might not be super stretchy or not. doesn't have too much compression. I prefer my um, shapewear to hold me in uh, to feel like I have something on. Um, I don't like those minimal shapewear because to me, I'd rather just not wear anything at all underneath if, um, if that was the case. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try item number four on. So with this one, it is similar bodysuit. Just I actually was able to put it on. It has a slight compression. So trying to get it over my hips a little bit was kind of tight but not as difficult as number three. So I would honestly on a, on a scale of uh, light, medium and heavy compression, I would say this is more like a light compression. Um, but um, as you can see, it has like these little bands here to kind of uh, keep you snatched in the tummy area. Um, I do like the fact that it goes a little lower on the hips, um, but what I don't like is where it cuts you off in the back here because it kind of gives you an old person butt and I don't like that. Um, but overall, I do like the feel of this um, shapewear. It is made out of nylon. And as I mentioned, I am wearing um, underwear underneath. Uh, normally, if I'm wearing something like this, I probably would not. It does have the little hook, hook closures at the bottom. So that way you can go to the restroom without taking the whole item off. So let me go ahead and try it with the dress on. So this is the type of shapewear that I usually like to wear with pants or a jumpsuit. I normally would not wear this with the dress because you could kind of see the indention here on my lower hips um, of the shapewear. But um, I do like to wear this type of shapewear because it doesn't have like a heavy compression. So it kind of smooths you out. So this is the front side back side and front. So, and I wore a green um, dress so that way you could kind of see it a little bit better because I know with black, it's sometimes hard to see the difference, but usually with these type of colors, the lighter they are, the, the more you could see your curves. So um, I hope you like these uh, shapewares. If you like any of them, they will be linked below. Um, the are, they are from Amazon. They range in price anywhere between $23 up to, I think, $50 or $60. So I'll go ahead and link those below. So there you have it, folks. I hope you liked the shapewear. If you did, they will be linked, like I mentioned, in the description box. So please give me a like, a subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos come out because they do come out weekly. Also, follow me on my Instagram page, What Wendy Wears. There you will be able to see how I style my outfits. 
and you might get inspired by something you have in your own closet to dress up. I would like to thank all my subscribers and all my watchers. We hit 700 subscribers. I'm super excited thanks to you. I even made it a lot easier for you to subscribe by hitting my image here at the top. Just hit subscribe and you'll be all set. And I'm also recommending a video that you might like. Thank you so much. And we are going to have a giveaway at a thousand subscribers. So let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, folks, I'll see you in the next one and stay stylish, my friends.